All right, in this problem, um, we have a ski lift that holds three different people, and what we want to do is do a problem statement based upon um, it providing the user with the total weight of the people in the chair and whether they can ride or not. So I'm going to start with assumptions <coughs> and then input, calculations, output. Okay, so the first thing that we look at is this last sentence, and it tells us they want a, the combined weight uh, of everyone on the chair, and then whether they can ride it safely. So there's two things that they want. One is they want the total weight. And we'll make sure we cam camelize that. And they also want a message, and the message is going to either say that they can ride or they can't ride. All right, so we have these two things, and now we're ready to decide where we're going to get these two things from. Well, we can't ask them what the message is because they want the computer to automatically put the message in. And we can't ask them how the total weight is because that's what they want this to do also. So both of these are going to be calculations, although the message not necessarily a calculation, more logic. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in. And we're going to do equals and we're going to do equals. All right, then we'll take a look at the low-hanging fruit, and that is any constants we might have. And we can see up here there's a number, it says 750, and that's going to be the max weight. So that's going to be one of our assumptions, is that the max weight, uh, max weight, um, uh, is going to be equal to 750, and we're going to ask them that. Uh, is it going to be constant? Now, if, if the max weight changed depending on the chair, or max weight depends on the day, but this is something that's going to be always, every time we do the ride, it's always going to be 750, so that's why we're going to make it a constant. All right, we now we have a message that we have to do on here. So um, let's skip that for now, and let's move up to total weight. Um, so the total weight simply is the weight of the three riders. So I'm going to say, well, weight rider 1 plus weight rider 2 plus weight rider, and I rang out of room, 3. All right, so those that's going to give me my three weights question is, where am I going to get the weight from rider 1? Well, it's not something that's going to be the same every time. So it's something I have to ask. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste it here into as input. And then take the weight of rider 2, copy that, paste it in, and then the weight of rider 3. And now I have my three inputs. So you can see how this builds very quickly as we go along. So now we have everything. The only thing we need to know is what the message is, and the message is dependent upon the total weight. So since that is going to be a decision, we have to start out with an if. Oops, not that. And we're going to say that if, and then we have to have have we, what do we want to compare? And we want to compare the total weight and if that is less than or equal to the max weight then they can ride. So the message here is going to be the ride is safe to start. And then the question is, what happens if it's not? And if it's not true that the, the, the weight is less than or equal to 750, that is the else side of the, mess of the decision. And for that, we're going to have a message equals stop. The ride is not safe to start. I want to warn them. So we're going to have one of two messages 
that we're going to be outputting. And we do that up here in the decision. And we could have done it actually down here in the output, but it's kind of sloppy to do it that way. We're going to try to put all our logic up in the uh, calculation. So calculation is not only the math we're going to do, but also the logic we're going to use. Then output is just simply those two things. So I declare this as solved. So now the next thing I'm going to do is change this into a human algorithm. All right, so I'm going to copy that. And then let's move down here. And I'm going to paste it in. So this is our human algorithm. And all I'm going to do is simply take out the spaces. And then input, I'm going to put a colon, two spaces, and then copy that. And then I'm going to paste it here. Paste it here. Paste it here. And, <coughs> okay, that's a mess. And paste it here. Okay, so my copying and pasting is not so good. Okay, get rid of that. Delete. Okay, so now we have our three inputs. All right, our calculations, the word calculations come out. Then we have our, uh, that calculation. Then we have this decision. And then output, again, I'm going to put a colon, two spaces. Bring that up. I didn't do that last time. Then I'll copy this and paste it down. Okay, now I have, well, I gotta get rid of all these spaces. Okay, all the spaces are out. Our human algorithm is now done. As easy as that.